How were cartoons made in the 60s? The process was radically different than it is now, dominated by manual labor and countless hours of precise artistic effort. Firstly, cartoons in the 60s were mostly drawn by hand. Every single frame of a cartoon, which runs at about 24 frames per second, had to be drawn on paper by artists. This is a mind-boggling amount of drawing when you consider a standard TV episode could be 22 minutes or a feature film well over an hour. Once the story and storyboard were locked in, animators would create keyframes. These keyframes formed the essential actions of a character or scene. Then, in between these keyframes, other artists called in-betweeners would create the frames that fill the gaps, creating smooth movement. Backgrounds were painted separately. Unlike characters, which needed multiple frames, a background could often be static for a long scene and reused, saving a bit of time. After all the drawings were completed, they were handed off to the inking and painting department. Here, artists would take each frame and trace it onto a celluloid sheet, referred to as a cell, with a special ink. After inking, the reverse side of the cells was painted to give color to the characters or objects. The cells were then layered over the static backgrounds and photographed one by one with a high-resolution camera to create a sequence. Special effects, such as explosions or magic, were also created manually, either by animators or a dedicated special effects team, and each effect had to be integrated into the cells. Lastly, the audio, including dialogue, music, and sound effects, was added. Voice actors would record their parts, and timing was crucial to ensure mouth movements and expressions matched the voiceover. Shows like The Flintstones or The Jetsons are iconic examples of the dedication of 60s cartoonists, animators, and artists. It was a painstaking and meticulous process that required not just skill, but an immense passion for animation. And you have to appreciate the commitment. There were no shortcuts, no Control plus Z to undo mistakes, and definitely no computer animation software. Each episode was a labor of love and artistry. I can't help but think of how this contrasts with the digital tools I have just a click away here in Portland not to mention the entire animation industry. It's truly a different world. And even though I'm surrounded by the green beauty and tech vibes of Portland, Oregon, looking back at how cartoons were made in the 60s gives me a real appreciation for the craft and effort that went into those timeless pieces of animated art.